Welcome to the behind the scenes look at one of the largest vape manufacturing facilities in the world, producing over 3 million vape devices every single day. Did you know that consumer spending on vape products in major markets like the US, Japan, and the UK has reached a staggering $16.3 billion annually? This figure highlights the immense global appeal of this product. But what makes vaping so popular? What exactly is inside the compact device? And is vaping truly a better alternative to traditional cigarettes? All these questions will be answered in detail in today's video. If you're ready to dive in, don't forget to hit the like button to support the video and let's embark on this journey right now. Before we explore how vape devices are manufactured, let's take a quick look at their fascinating history. Did you know that while the first modern vape device was created in the 2000s, the concept itself dates back to the 1960s? In 1963, an American inventor named Herbert A. Gilbert conceptualized a smokeless device as an alternative to traditional cigarettes. However, the technology of the time wasn't advanced enough, and public awareness about the harmful effects of smoking was still limited, so his invention was never commercialized. It wasn't until 2003 that Han Leek, a Chinese pharmacist, revolutionized the industry. After losing his father to lung disease caused by smoking, he was determined to create a device that could reduce the harm of tobacco use. The first modern vape device was born, utilizing heat to vaporize liquid instead of burning tobacco. Since then, the vape industry has seen explosive growth. Initially popular in countries like China and the US, vaping quickly gained global traction, driven by increasing health awareness and modern lifestyle trends. So, how exactly is a vape device made? Let's continue exploring in the next section. The process begins with e-liquid production. Ever wonder what goes into that familiar bottle of vape juice? Key ingredients, such as a base that produces vapor, flavors that enhance the experience, and adjustable nicotine levels for those transitioning from smoking, are carefully selected and mixed in automated machines. These machines ensure a perfect blend, producing a consistent and pure e-liquid mixture. But there's more to it. The liquid mixture is then fed into an automated assembly line, where precise amounts are dispensed into individual bottles. Each bottle is sealed and labeled with detailed information, including the flavor and nicotine strength.
What's your favorite flavor? Is it cool mint, sweet strawberry, or rich vanilla? Share your preference in the comments below. Next, we move on to the coil, the component responsible for heating the e-liquid and turning it into vapor. The wires are cut and coiled with precision using automated machines. Organic cotton is then added inside to absorb the e-liquid effectively. Is the coil complete now? Not quite. A protective outer shell is added and product details are laser engraved for quality assurance. With that, the coil is ready. Can you guess what the next step is? Now we focus on the e-liquid tank, the reservoir that fuels the vape device. This step demands the utmost precision. First, a silicone layer is added to ensure the tank is completely sealed, preventing leaks even if the device is tilted or shaken. Heat-resistant glass or plastic components are then assembled to form the tank. But there's still more. E-liquid from the first step is automatically filled into the tanks, measured to the millimeter for accuracy. The tanks are then flipped and secured, ready to be connected to the device body. Next up is the device body, the central hub that houses the electronic components. It's not just a simple casing, it's the brain of the device. First, the printed circuit board, PCB, the brain, is installed. This component manages power and temperature for an optimal vaping experience. High-quality lithium-ion batteries are carefully soldered onto the PCB using laser technology. All components are wrapped in heat-resistant tape to ensure safety during use. And when you press the activation button, the PCB, printed circuit board, inside the device activates the battery, sending a controlled electric current to the coil. The coil heats up immediately, vaporizing the e-liquid absorbed in the cotton. This vapor then travels through the tank to the mouthpiece, ready for you to inhale. It's now time to bring everything together. The e-liquid tank, coil, and device body are assembled on automated production lines. Each part is fitted with precision to ensure the device functions as designed. The vape device is now fully assembled, but it's not quite ready for shipment. Before being packaged, each device undergoes rigorous testing. Machines simulate inhalation to ensure smooth airflow and functionality.
Afterward, the devices are sterilized with UV light to eliminate any bacteria. Once everything passes inspection, the devices are carefully packaged along with accessories like chargers and user manuals. Have you noticed the protective film on the outside of the box? This layer helps keep the product safe throughout the transportation process. And just like that, a vape device is ready to reach your hands. We've covered the entire process of vape production, from crafting e-liquid to assembling the finished device. Now let's revisit the key question. Is vaping truly better than traditional cigarettes? Unlike smoking, which burns tobacco leaves to create smoke, vaping involves heating e-liquid to produce vapor. This eliminates combustion, reducing harmful substances like tar and carbon monoxide, key contributors to smoking-related diseases. While vaping avoids the risks of combustion, it is not entirely without harm. Prolonged exposure to vaporized e-liquid may impact lung health, especially with high nicotine products or those containing unverified chemicals. To minimize risks, choosing reputable products and using them responsibly is essential. Vaping is not suitable for everyone. Non-smokers, teenagers, pregnant women, and individuals with respiratory conditions should avoid it. Although it's less harmful than smoking, vaping still carries addiction risks and potential health impacts. In summary, vaping is a less harmful alternative to smoking, but not entirely safe. The choice to use it is a personal one. What's your opinion? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to subscribe to Captain Discovery for more fascinating content. See you on the next adventure.